what is up guys welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot this reading here is for my Virgo zodiac sign this is your reading for the month of June 2021 we're gonna dive in and see what comes out for you so clarify the energy of Virgo what is going on with Virgo for the month of June 2021 Ooh, number seven crown chakra is coming out for you tell me more what's going on with Virgo for the month of June 2021 is going on with Virgo number one new vitality all right let's pull another one for this row Clear for the energy of Virgo for the month of June perfect number two spread your wings okay what else for Virgo for the month of June 2021 please what is going on with Virgo for the month of June 2021 please two came out number seven seek the truth Number one, strengthening bonds. And let's do one more. Clarify the energy of Virgo for the month of June 2021. One more card, please. What else do you have for Virgo? One more card, please. Thank you. And number four, opportunity beckons. Beautiful. Okay, this is great. Eight is on the bottom of the deck. This is the control card here. Okay. So let's see here. Let's dive right in. Uh, of course, we're going to clarify with the Gilded Royale, but let me just say first, this is a general reading, so this may not resonate. Energies are fluid and interchangeable, so they can cross, and if you need to, just please flip them. Okay, so for the first card here, we have the Crown Chakra. Now, the Crown Chakra is about uh, your... Is the, First, let me explain this. The, the crown chakra is what's at the top of your head, okay? This is the uh, crown, the chakra that connects you to the spirit realm, all right? As below, as above what's above as below you know uh, so this is all about manifestation whatever you dream think and and desire in the spirit realm in the dream dream world um, you can bring down here on earth right so this is a very important chakra now one thing that a lot of people don't know is if if your other chakras are not aligned if one chakra is off you cannot this this chakra will not work okay it's at the very top so you have to make sure that all your chakras are aligned here now let's clarify this crown chakra here for Virgo. Clarify the crown chakra for Virgo, please. Clarify the crown chakra for Virgo for the month of June 2021. Thank you. So we have the two of cups here. All right. So the thing, if, if you're new to my channel, the two of cups in most readings represents twin flame energy. However, in my readings as well, it's, the way I see it is a connection to your divine, to your higher self, okay, to your source. So you could be manifesting here, right? This is all about manif uh, manifestation, meditation, and uh, being in tune with thyself, being in alignment with thyself, and creating and dreaming and thinking about exactly what you want, right? Manifesting it now, thinking about it, dreaming about it, saying, hi, you know, I... I live in my beautiful big house, my three-story house, you know, whatever that is, you're, you're doing that. You're in that energy, okay? So I do see you... Uh, creating and really using your crown chakra in the month of June. All right, now if, yeah, Knight of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. So this is all about slow progress, okay? This is starting something that's going to bring long-term stability into your life, right? It may start out, it may be very, very slow, but in the end, this is going to be phenomenal, okay? This is something, yeah, the sun card being there as well. This is something that's going to be dependable, that's going to bring you long-term success, that's going to bring you that generational wealth, okay? This is what leads on to, you know, the Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles energy so let's see here let's clarify new vitality here clarify the new vitality card for Virgo yeah okay so you have a brand new look on life a brand new look on a situation here okay as you can see here's the chakra colors here right so you're in alignment you're doing healing you're focusing your energy you're um having all your chakras aligned here and as you can see as you're doing that with this brand new energy and this brand new outlook on life and about things here in the month of june the wheel of fortune is coming in the upright and this is saying that the universe is on your side and that the wheel is changing in the direction that is perfect for you which means all things are possible right whatever you can manifest you can manifest uh here so say you want that new job you're gonna you go out there you put that energy in it 
the wheel is turning in your favor okay you want to start something start it now this is the best time to start it in the month of June because again things are turning in your favor here you have this new brand new energy of I am powerful I can manifest and create what I want here and that type of energy make sure you stay in that positive mindset because it's beautiful yeah three of wands energy this is about progress here watching your ships right in look at there I just mentioned ten of pentacles and ten of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck so this is your perfect time to create this if it's that new job say that job comes up and you're like oh I, I really want to apply for that new job go do it apply for it this is the time to do it if this is oh I want I really want to start that business that I've been talking about for the longest this is the time to start it okay things are turning in your favor and you are super heavily connected and like in alignment here so this is definitely the time to start this up whatever this is okay whatever you're dreaming about whatever this new energy is about here now let's clarify spread your wings for Virgo Ooh, yes the Hierophant look at there see you're connected to source here okay this is about higher commitment here spread your wings okay the Hierophant it's like this new take on life and you have this freedom about you this new road this new availability that's open up to you that's leading to this beautiful light right this is like that star and that sun energy which is your complete happiness you're moving forward and being optimistic okay and thinking about any and everything that you want to create here especially with the Hierophant this is like a new belief like you could be going through a spiritual awakening and you're realizing how powerful you are you know what what you can actually create here and things that you can do like you have this brand new energy about you and it's beautiful it is so beautiful Virgo and I hope you continue to stay in this energy let's see what's at the bottom yes the full card taking a leap of faith here okay take a leap whatever it is in the month of June that you find this brand new look on here take it okay please take it it could be a move like say you want to relocate and you're like you know I was really thinking about moving to Arizona I, okay I don't know why I'm saying Arizona but that's what's coming out okay it could be anywhere I don't know why I'm thinking about moving to Arizona but I got the feeling that I just want to move to Arizona do it do it take this leap this is all you got to do take a leap here take a leap the lovers card is here the lovers card is all about choice so you could be moving towards somebody that you care about that you love but it's also the choice card so this is a decision for you to make and you could be choosing to take that leap here now let's clarify seven seek the truth please for Virgo clarify the seek the truth card for Virgo please clarify seek the truth for Virgo please hmm the world card okay so things are ending you know the world card is the last major arcana okay and so when the world comes that means you have completed a cycle okay and it's the end and now it's time for you to get on that full journey here okay the fool was at the bottom of the deck so this is a brand new journey for you a brand new beginning that's why you got this new vitality energy here it's like this new look on life here okay and seek the truth is all about pulling open that veil and going behind it and finding out uh, what's behind there okay you know what what is when every time I see the seek the truth card always think about when I was in my spiritual awakening right before I began awakening I knew nothing right I mean I don't know it all now I'm still learning it's all about learning it's an everyday process an every month process every week process you learn something new you'll you will never know it all okay not in this lifetime at all it's all about learning and everybody is on different paths here and the seek the truth card it's like um, it's like someone has taken the blindfold off here and you're able to to finally make the decision to walk into the unknown okay as you can see she's walking into the unknown right she's not letting uh, she's not letting her her mind uh, trap her here she's saying I'm gonna I'm gonna walk in I'm gonna see what's going on you know what's in here you know what's in here and so again this is a, a new look on life here the world card is here so you're ending a cycle because this can represent ending some type of cycle here but you're also starting something because it's just like when one door closes another opens okay so let's see what's that yeah the bottom king of wands this could be a business situation where you're moving to uh, start a new job or this could just be you simply going into a new position here starting something new like a promotion king of wands is also the entrepreneur energy so you could be going out there and starting your own business right and saying you know what if all of these other people did it i can do it I can create this I know I can do it I'm gonna manifest it I'm gonna believe it I'm gonna say whatever I can create in the spirit realm I can bring down to this physical realm and that's what you're doing 
as above, so below. Okay. Now let's clarify strengthening bonds here for Virgo. Clarify strengthening bonds for Virgo, please. For the month of June 2021, clarify strengthening bonds. So, the Emperor is coming out and the Three of Swords is coming out in reverse. All right. Now, the Strengthening, strengthening Bonds card is all about, like, um, building relationships with people and, and um, coming together, okay? And really realizing the peace, okay? The, the, um, if you notice, like, her, um, her outfit is orange, okay? That's like the, the uh, Sacral Chakra energy, which is about creativity, desires, and emotions, uh, and things like that. So it's like you're in tune with your emotions here. And it's it's like a brand new look. Again, I'm getting the energy of a brand new look on life here. Now, the Emperor is here and the Three of Swords is in reverse. So this is telling me that, again, this is all about control and stability in your life here with the Emperor. Okay, so really getting in the steering wheel and driving where you want to, you know, controlling uh, the narrative of your life and your situation here. And the Three of Swords is releasing that heartache, okay? So there's no more heartache. They're saying, like, if there were um, relationships that were kind of strained or relationships that uh, were in chaos or in ruckus or whatever or there was tension there it's like you resolving it okay you um the apologies coming through the talking coming through it's like you're taking the initiative and you're stepping up and you're saying hey you know what let's squash this let's move on from this and let's let's work on a more positive outlook here okay so i see that happening in the month of june for you as well and then the bottom of the deck is the empress and you know the empress along with the emperor okay this is all about um giving life to a situation so really nurturing it and growing so you're taking the time to nurture relationships with people this could be relationships that were once broken and that are now healing here okay so let's clarify number four opportunity beckons for you virgo for the month of june 2021 clarify opportunity beckons so we have the Eight of Swords coming out in reverse. Beautiful. So you're no longer trapped in your mind here. Okay. You now have an open, uh, open mind to situations. Yes. Beautiful. Judgment. Bottom of the deck. Okay. Laying out in front of you, looking at your life and realizing, hey, this isn't where I want to be. I want to be. I want to. I want to move on from here. You know, I want to move forward from here. There's so much more I want to do. I want to create, right? This is also karma uh, coming into justice here, like karmic cycles. Um, the, the the karmic, what is it called? Help me out, spirit. Help me out here. What am I trying to say, spirit? What am I trying to say? Clarify the message, please. Your karma coming in. Thank you, spirit. Your karma is coming in here. All right. So this here is telling me number four opportunity beckons, right? There's an opportunity here opening up for you. Okay. As you can see, if you notice right here, there's that sign that's like uh, when the magician is above the magician's head, it's here on this little orb here, whatever this is. I don't know. I don't quite know what that is, but it's like an orb. All right. And I forget what the, the symbol is called. If you know what the symbol is called, please leave it in the comments down below. Because I can't think of it right now. The infinity sign. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. The infinity sign. <laughs> Sorry. The infinity sign is here. So that's all about knowing that you're infinite. And that you can create whatever you want in this lifetime here. And so you're seeing yourself. Okay, there's opportunities available for me. Right? And you're no longer stuck in this 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 mind game, like this this mental in, entrapment here. You're no longer stuck. Your mind is clear now. It's no longer here. And you're realizing that there are opportunities that you can love and grow with, right? You could have been doing your, your moon cycle rituals. Okay, this is all about a brand new beginning that speaks to your soul, that speaks to your emotions here. Okay, and you're seeing that now. You're realizing that the things are possible for you, Virgo. So let's go ahead and pull. What other messages do you have for Virgo here with this reading? What other messages do you have for Virgo? Thank you. What other messages do you have for Virgo, please? What other messages do you have for Virgo? One more, please. Thank you. All right. So we have judgment. There's judgment twice. You have judgment here and you have judgment here. Soul searching will bring inner peace to many areas of your life. Again, it's like you're going within and I just said spoke to your soul here. And that's what I feel you're doing. And then we have the devil take care immediately to avoid temptation and deceit. 
Okay, so make sure again, you're not overthinking anymore. You're not, um, don't let fear stop you here. Okay, again, that full energy came up. So make sure when something comes available for you, take action, take that leap of faith. Sometimes that's all it takes is we just need that extra push to start something new. Okay, and let's pull you a whisper of the ocean real quick. Clarify what message do you have for Virgo? What message do you have for Virgo for the month of June 2021? Thank you. All right, they want to spit out a couple of for you, so let me read these real quick. Number three, in the light of the moon, a full moon can shine light on what you have been resisting. This can be anything from your fears to your soul's beauty. There's that fear word that I was just talking about. Number 17, safe and surrounded by love. Keep your heart open and know you are being protected. Listen to what you know to be true and allow yourself to see and understand what is going on around you. Number nine, ample with contentment. Waiting rather than acting is going to be most advantageous now. And number 24, love where you are. Use your sensitivity to know when to act. Connect your heart to your head when determining what you would like. Okay? And then your last message is your star seat here. So what message do you have for Virgo, please? Thank you. Mm. There's the choice card. I just told you that lover's energy came out. Choice. By staying conscious in your thoughts, you got your journey in the direction of choice. So beautiful. Virgo, this is your reading for the month of June. I hope that this gives you some clarity and some insight. Guys, I appreciate you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.